Hey, this is Lewis from Oxygen. In this video, I want to show you how to use the Color Dodge Blend Mode. So you're going to end up with an effect like this where you've got this text overlaid on an image. And since we set up a fixed background, you get this cool scrolling effect as well where the background doesn't move and the text does when you scroll down. So let's go ahead and set that up. So what we're going to do is add in a section. And in the section, we'll go to Advanced Background and choose our background image. So I've already got this one here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make the section be full height. So we're going to go to size and spacing, height, set it to 100 VH. That makes it the full height of the browser, no matter how big the browser is. Then we're going to go ahead and add in heading in here. And we're going to make it say scary times. And for the font, I'm going to use Creepster from Google Fonts. And then we're gonna make this uh, basically as big as possible without going multi-line. So 215 looks good. And let's go ahead and center this. So we'll go back to the section, horizontal stacking, vertical item alignment middle, horizontal item alignment middle. And now this is gonna be centered on the page. Now let's go ahead and set up the blend mode. So we're gonna use the color dodge blend mode. So to do that, choose the heading, go to advanced effects, opacity, and under mix blend mode, choose color dodge. So what color dodge does is that if the text is white, then it's going to be white. It's not going to affect the image at all, or the image won't affect it. If it's black, then it's just going to be fully transparent. So the lighter the color is of the top layer, which is the text here, the more it is going to affect the bottom layer which is the image. So let's go ahead and set this to be sort of a brown right about there. Looks pretty good. And then let's go ahead and set up a shadow. The, the blend mode's also gonna affect the shadow. So let's go to advanced, effects, text shadow. And let's set up a shadow that's a little lighter than the brown we just used. So. Maybe something about like this, and we'll go, give it no offset and about 20 pixels of blur. So there you go, there's the shadow right there. And the text is a little tough to read here, so let's go ahead and darken the background image. So we'll go to background, or we'll go to the section, go to advanced, background, and under overlay color, we'll overlay it with black, and then we will adjust the transparency. Okay, that looks pretty good, maybe a little darker. Let's play with the text a little bit. You wanna play with the colors just to get it perfect. Make the text a little bit lighter. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Uh, and now let's go ahead and set up the scrolling effect. So right now we can't scroll the page because we don't have any other content on it. So I'll just go ahead and add a section, give it some height just so we can scroll down. Give it a black background. And then we're gonna go back to the original section, go to advanced, background, and under background attachment, choose fix. This will fix the background to the page. So when the page is scrolled, the background doesn't move. And there we go. That is how to create that effect using oxygen. Now, one thing to note is that blend modes are still a very new feature of CSS. So they don't yet have wide browser support. The good browsers like Chrome, uh, Firefox, Safari, etc., they got it. But Internet Explorer and Edge don't have support for this yet. But this is good to know about because the support will come. And when it does, you're going to be able to create really, really cool effects. Okay, again, this is Lewis from Oxygen. And thank you very much for watching.